Hi guys, welcome back on my channel Dorota Pańska International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do a beautiful French nail with the red and the transfer foil which is one of my favorite techniques. You can have a wee preview of it in here. Absolutely amazing and I'm really excited to create this tutorial for you. Let's start! I've got my form apply and the nail is prepped and we are going to sculpt the beautiful nail with the light rose fiber gel and then do amazing design and it is one of my favorite techniques, the transfer foil. Uh, I love those designs because it always looks absolutely amazing and my clients love it as well. So I'm starting with a small amount of the product on the natural nail bed. Apply it nice and firm, very close to the cuticle area, pressing it into the nail. And then pick up another scoop of the product to build up the free edge. So we are going to do a nice coffin shape. You've got some um, help lines on the form, so I'm just following those lines for a best shape. Okay, I show you the side view. So you have those lines and I'm just following them. Once you have extended the free edge, give it a cure and then we can move on into the structure. And the fiber gel cures uh, in a one minute in LED light. So now we are going to build up the structure of the snail. Pick up another scoop of the product and apply it through the entire nail and the extension part. Okay, check uh, the sides if they're nice, if there is any missing product. And then pick up a large scoop so we can build up the apex and the structure. I usually try to keep it on the one side of the brush and then work it one side, other side, one side, other side. Don't go too close to the side because by the time you finish the application, the gel is going to run there anyway. So I'm really concentrating more through the middle and then with my brush, if it's necessary, I'm touching up some places and then give it a cure. The longer the nails are, the more layers sometimes we need to apply. So if it's needed after it's cured, you could take your brush and you could check if you want to apply it in any other places. I'm going actually to do that. So I'm just checking. And you can see it, I've got less product in here, so I'm just going to add a small scoop of this product there. So I'll just apply it through the entire nail. And then just with the string at the spine, so it is having a better structure. And then give it a cure. Close your product so we can file the, uh, so we can file the nail. <coughs> And we will do it maybe, maybe a French, yeah, why not? Let's do French. So for a French, I'm going to use the angular brush. And I love it for a French look. And the paint on, uh, paint on gel color plus. They really highly pigmented gels. Because I use my brush in white, what I'm always doing, like because I never completely remove uh, products from my brushes, I kind of keep a little bit product on my brushes and then remove it, the excess of it before I start painting. So I need to dip it in, in the red so my brush can absorb this red color. So each time when I'm changing the color, I would first of all dip in my brush and clean it 
with this color so my brush absorbed only red color rather than the bits and pieces of the white which it had the same when we're working with the black you want to really uh, get your brush out of any paint which might be inside your brush okay and the angular brush needs to be really nice and flat so my brush is prepared and the tip is cured which means we can shape it almost cure a couple seconds there we are so i'm just going to remove the form and also inhibition layer remove the form pull it down remove the inhibition layer and then shape this nail so one side of the nail other side nice v-shape shorten the free edge and i'm doing them kind of extremely actually there is a huge amount of the product on the free edge you can see it guys and i'm trying to do them kind of more extreme length just because it is first of all more difficult and if you're practicing on your practice fingers or the hands i suggest you go for a little bit longer as well because if you can do so long nails the short ones are going to be very quick and easy. Okay, I file a little bit, plant everything around the cuticle area. And this movement is just perfect, like, because it smooths out the nail really well. And then buff it. the hairline and now it is really nice remove the dust and move on into a French application actually maybe a little bit more there we are okay I'm just going to clean this nail very well actually even remove the tape the tape is um, there just so i can easier uh, put the form on my nails the color plus in red and we are going to paint some french manicure so i'm picking up a small amount of the product on my brush and then paint a beautiful deep smile line like really deep go into the v-shape one side and then turn it and go other side and now concentrate on the smile line but we will go really extreme deep smile line And I'm finding like because the brush is larger, it is easier, I think, for me to paint the smile line this way than doing it with such a fine brush. Okay, correct the smile line really extreme one I'm just going to check the shape it's not too bad okay I'm going to go really fast and I just go one more time over my smile line Sometimes going over something isn't a good idea <laughs> because we can break it something which was pretty good. Okay, that's enough. And then give it a cure. 
so after that we will have to apply the top coat because um, we want to create the next part of the design with the transfer foil so again when my tip is curing I'm not losing a time and I'm going to prepare my D-liner brush and the foil design gel So a couple seconds longer. And now this part is really important. If you don't do it, the transfer foil might stick in a little bit into the inhibition layer of the red. So you need to apply the top coat over the entire extension. So apply the top coat. and then cure it. Okay, in the meantime, I will just put a drop of the foil design gel. So I've got some small amount of the product. Put it on the side. Actually, when my tip is curing, I could uh, prepare the foil as well, just to save the time. So we are going to use the gold foil and just cut a small piece of that. Actually, two pieces. <clears throat> and then put it on the side the foil should be clean with the drop of the blue scrap just to remove any dirt which is underneath okay so just remove any dirt you can see there was quite a lot and put it on the side just so the dust doesn't get it because we need to still uh, buff quickly the snow so i'm taking a buffer and i want to buff the top coat which we have applied and Okay, so buff this meal really well. I have dyed my model. I have killed my model. And the reason why it's happened, it was the position of the meal. It should be down the way, so then this way we are not going to catch it. Okay, that's enough. It is nicely buffed. Let's clean it and move on into painting this beautiful design. So we are going to use the D-liner brush and the foil design gel. Got a bit in here. Okay, pick up a small amount and then start painting a heart shape. I'm not bothered about the heart itself because we will do some liquid stone in there. So only the old side line has to be perfect. Don't bother, don't bother about the middle. Okay, paint it to the heart and then some design coming out from the heart part so actually we could go this way this way this way and this way okay <laughs> I'm just planning my composition so one side other side then join that in, join that in, like make sure you apply it nice and even. Okay. 
and then do two lines. And couple of the swirls. I don't want to hide my smile line, so I'm going more on the side. Okay, then make it swirly part. And then another one. I don't want to overdo it. Sometimes less is more. No, Dorota, don't put the swirl in there, because once you press the foil, the tip is going to fly. I'm not going to put it there. Well, I think that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. So now we are going to cure this uh, transfer foil gel. And the curing is really crucial and important, like for getting the coverage right. So before I cure it, I, I need to explain it. You guys need to test it. It is a technique. And if I'm running a trainings, I'm always testing my settings. So on the current lamp, which I'm using, 30 seconds cure on the low heat mode is best to give me the nicest results. And um, you will have different lamps. You will work with different thickness of the product. If you apply it at thin, it will cure shorter time for a best adhesion. If you are applying it thicker, it will take longer time. So you really need to test it yourself. What are the best curing um, time for your design? And it is a practice, like definitely it is a practice. Okay, so that's my tip on and it's going on a 30 seconds cure. So till 90, okay. I have to watch that as well. And then I've got the foil. And we will be able to transfer the design if the if the tip doesn't fly to the sky because uh, with the foil uh, transfer foil we have to kind of press it uh, a little bit so you take a foil in between your fingers like this and then press it in and you kind of roll it for a best adhesion of the product okay and i will show you that so that's my tip cure and I'm just going to show you this. I cannot press it there because I really want to make sure my tip is uh, secure. So in between the fingers, and I'm going first of all to transfer this part. So don't apply the foil into the love heart and hold it there, like kind of ironing it with your finger. Because it is a 3D design, you need to get it everywhere. Like the parts where the cuticle is, like is always really difficult. And you've got only one go to go. Okay, then we are going to move into this part. So press your foil, hold it, hold it, and then pull it out. And then we are going to move again lower, so this part now. So do it kind of parts and leave the top one like so you can touch it again, but you don't want to touch the bottom. Okay, we've got another one. And then my finger goes underneath and I'm working on this part here. It's almost like a waxing. Take it out. And then this part there. Clean, uh, always search a clean part of the foil. Hold it, hold it. Uh, I find it also that the heat from the finger is really good uh, in application of the transfer foil and then pull it out. What you do after you have finished this step, you can take the foil and you can check if there is any places you want to maybe touch up a little bit more. Yeah, 
maybe I will try to go closer to the cuticle. Sorry, model. <laughs> Perfect. The next step for this beautiful design, you can see it how nice the transfer foil looks. It's really beautiful. Okay, the next step for this design is to do some liquid stone. And we are going to use this beautiful glitter. Wow. Clear gel. And I'm using a crystal one. Oh, let me open it. I need to clean it. It's a bit sticky. And then I'm going to take a brush. <laughs> that was a nice squeak. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Sorry, it was close to microphone. So very small amount of the gel. Dip in your brush into the glitter. Oh my lord, this is so beautiful. See, when I told you don't worry about the middle part, it's just because we are going to get a perfect heart shape now with this liquid stone. And this is a kind of one of my favorite techniques, the transfer foil. But as I say, like it's not easy. I run the trainings for it. And um, believe me, non like it's really rare that someone will get it by the first time. So you have to really try it a couple of times, okay? Do not give up. Do not give up. Give it a flash cure. Flash cure is just a couple seconds cure to freeze the product. Clean your brush each time when you want to go to the pot. Like you don't want to bring it uh, all the glitter into your pot. I don't mind on this one because it's a pot with the glitter already. <laughs> but yeah, you, you really don't want that. And then go second layer. Mm, it looks also nice when you've got a few different types of the glitters, like uh, they're reflecting so beautifully. And you could do this part with the transfer foil as well. I'm actually curious how it will look if I do it here as well. Yes, I'm going to put it there too. Definitely. Okay, let me, let me do a nice mixture. Because I need to mix this gel deeper inside, uh, the glitter deeper inside the gel. Okay, so just mix this. Sorry, cameraman. He's like touching me. I don't see. I don't see. <laughs> okay, so just like a one small stone. One small stone. And this is a fab option also for the clients which are scared of the gems or other things. Look how beautiful and amazing it is. Like absolutely fantastic. Uh, give it a flash cure and basically you could apply some gems or you could just leave it the way it is. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because I'm sticking in gems everywhere. <laughs> uh, so I know I love the bling but no we are just going to apply a couple. No, not apply a couple. Don't, don't apply a couple. Don't, don't, don't. Yes, do it. And then apply a couple of gems. <laughs> Sorry, I had a little conversation. <laughs> should I put them on or should I not? Okay, I'm just taking the brush and we are going to put a small crystal there, one, and a small crystal there, two. <laughs> Very tiny ones. And the tiny crystals are here. So one. Oh, how stunning is this? Two. Oh, wow. I love it with the crystals. And when you love it, you apply it more. Sometimes you need to check it, like how the design is going to look uh, if we do something. Oh, my. This is so beautiful. I love it now. And the one in here, and one in there. Very beautiful. One, two. Hit the share buttons, guys, for me. Uh, oh, this is so amazing. I love it. I want on my nails now. 
sorry, I'm keep twink, uh, moving it into the different direction just so you can see a full beauty of this uh, nail. Flash cure, couple seconds, top coat, and then that's this amazing design done for you. Uh, so in a summary, test it. So when you're using the foil design gel, uh, test it um, on a low settings, on the normal settings, UV light, two minutes, LED light gives a really nice results in 30 seconds, but I'm working pretty thin. If you're working thicker, you might need even one minute uh, curing the LED light on the slow sec settings. So really test your uh, curing time uh, before uh, applying the gel, uh, the foil, transfer foil into the gel. Okay, now we are just going to apply the top coat and you need to cover it well. And also when the red is showing, it looks so amazing. Uh, the top coat goes on, on our liquid stone as well. And it's a fun to create those liquid stones because you could use the, use the transfer foil. So what you could do is you could apply the pink transfer foil inside the heart and then go around it. Okay, apply the top coat everywhere. Not on the finger, just everywhere on the nail. And then give it a cure. To this beautiful nail. Now I, I love I love transfer liquid gold kind of uh, looks and those different liquid stones, absolutely amazing. It's never over the top designs like, and you could use it and do it on any kind of clients. Okay, couple seconds longer and my tip is going to be cure. I cannot wait actually to put the beautiful ring in there and do a thumbnail picture for you guys because I think it will look absolutely amazing. But well, look at this beauty which we have created today. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, glittery hacks and bye for now.